peri peri fish in banana leaf. Hi, I'm Manupa, and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. Have you heard of the word peri peri? Yes, it's something that's really spicy. What if you pile it up with some fish? Wouldn't it taste awesome? Yes, and we will do a little bit of variation to this. Of course, welcome you all to my series of recipes for the newlyweds. I want you all to learn this typical preparation because it is something that you can do when you have to impress your family members and your guests. So, if you have to make fish peri peri, how would you do it? A little bit of grinding, making the paste, applying on the fish and cooking the fish. But I have my own way of doing it, I will do it with banana leaves. So, a different way of making fish peri peri. Let's see what all ingredients we need to make fish peri peri. So, for this I need boneless pieces of fish. You can use whichever fish is available at your uh, local market. Lemon juice, some vinegar, salt, onions, paprika, garlic, some dried red chilies. Okay, to start off with we need to make a paste out of red chilies. So here are the chilies. Break them into smaller pieces. For the simple reason it becomes easier for us to grind. You can even use a pair of scissors. And while you are doing this you can also get rid of the chilies in case you don't like spicy food. But peri peri sauce itself is speaks a lot that it is quite spicy. So I suggest that you keep the chilies on. Just that you have to be very careful while you grind this. Because I would suggest that you soak the chilies for a while before grinding so that uh, it becomes easier for you to grind this into a fine paste. So we'll add in the chilies. Okay, after you add in the chilies, we'll add in the onions, some garlic, vinegar, salt, and now we'll grind this to a fine paste. Initially, we may not want to add some water. Okay, so let's add in some water to this and the mixture has to be very very thick. Okay, let me tell you one more thing before we even uh, make the paste, the fish that we have here, we are going to be putting in some lemon juice to this, okay, followed by some paprika. Like I said, it's quite a spicy thing, so be generous and so the fish is marinating, salt we have already put in this, so we won't put more salt on the fish and now let's grind this to a fine paste. Okay, wow, isn't the color pretty? Now, what we'll do is, let's heat up a pan. So into this hot pan, we'll put in some oil. And now let's put the ground paste onto the fish. At the same time, we'll take some banana leaves also. So one banana leaf for one piece of fish. So in case if the fish is small, you don't need a very big banana leaf. Okay, so what you'll do is, take the fish place it over the leaf and we'll place the fish on the back side of the banana leaf like this. Put this marination over the fish like this. Turn the fish and put this on the other side as well. Then just roll this or wrap the fish. And leave it aside. So let's make some more. Okay, here I am through with the fish and like I see the pan is also hot. Very carefully place this on the pan with the folded side down for a simple reason that this will not open up. Okay, so we will cook this on medium heat and after a while we will flip this and cook the other side as well. Understand one thing that the fish is not in direct contact with heat. It is wrapped in banana leaf. so. You will have to cook this for a minute more than you would cook if the fish was just placed directly on the pan. Because the heat will first come in contact with the banana leaf and then it will get passed on to the fish. 
so cooking time will increase by a minute or so on either side but uh, there's one guarantee that i give to you is that the flavor is going to stay intact and it's going to stay within the banana leaf if you remember what we've used in the paste garlic red chilies all this combined together makes this dish number one okay flip this in case while you're cooking if there's any juice that comes out of it don't bother the flavor that i'm getting right now is of the fish which is almost cooked and the masala which is also getting cooked at the same time i'll just switch off the heat and what we'll do is we'll plate this but this plating has to be done this way you have to place it with the leaf itself do not unwrap it otherwise you'll really lose out on all the texture so let this be like this itself on the platter and let your guest unwrap it and eat it it's not very messy Firstly, why? Because the fish is boneless, so all that they have to do is unwrap and just eat it. So, do you want to have a look at the fish? Wow! You see the steam? That's what I mean by the flavors getting trapped within the banana leaf. So this is how it will look. Let them open it. Let it be a surprise for them, and they are going to love it. So this is it. This is peri peri fish and banana leaf. You can make peri peri chicken. You can make peri peri prawns. You can make peri peri mutton. You can make peri peri paneer, potatoes, mixed vegetables, whatever. With the leaf or without the leaf is your choice. If you don't want to use banana leaf, you can use turmeric leaves. You can use mango leaves. Leaves is what I leave it to you. But as far as this dish is concerned, you are going to be very satisfied even tasting it yourself because it's. flavorful and it is just too tasty make this recipe just the way i have made it and you will love it